Choosing an oral and maxillofacial surgeon is important both for simple procedures that need to be done perfectly as well as when you have complicated procedures that need to be done right. An oral and maxillofacial surgeon has six years extra training after dental school. That's six more years of training more than your general dentist has experienced. And they perform surgical procedures, tooth removal, dental implants, bone grafting procedures, jaw fractures, jaw advancement surgeries, temporomandibular joint disorders, pathology, and cosmetic surgery. Dr. Mueller and I went to medical school and then we did four years of surgical training afterwards. We are equipped to handle the most difficult cases, the ones that require that extra bit of expertise. In addition, we can handle any post-operative issues. Because we are so aware of facial symmetry, we're able to communicate with our general dentist who's gonna restore that implant so that they know exactly why we placed it, how we placed it, where we placed it, to give you that ideal appearance. Oftentimes you'll find that a general dentist may offer to place a dental implant. They also do fillings, they do crowns, they do cleanings, they may do root canals. However, why would you go see somebody that does all of these things? They may do them well, but they're not an expert. I have a firm belief that if you cannot manage the complications, you should not do the surgery. An oral and maxillofacial surgeon is the optimum person due to our education, training, experience, the expertise, our team, and what we do on a daily basis every day. It makes sense to see an oral and maxillofacial surgeon for oral surgery needs.